Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Carly. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my new gray croc A5 Moterm cover and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm actually surprised at how much I love it. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing with this is I believe I've mentioned in a past video about getting an A5 book, kind of like a notebook, and I'm kind of actually going to walk you guys through that and the setup and everything and kind of show you actually what the Moterm looks like inside in case you don't know. Um, this actually um, has more of a matte cover than some of the other croc covers. I don't know if that is a, I guess that's the way they're releasing them now. I actually prefer the matte look. I feel... The cover feels good. I feel like it might be a little plasticky. I, I don't know if it's just me or maybe like me watching some past reviews where they've kind of mentioned that it kind of felt a little plasticky or if, I don't know, but I, 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 I do still like it no matter what. Um, but yeah, so it does have a snap closure. This is just the regular A5 cover. They do have an A5 plus that's a little taller and a little wider, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And it does have two snaps on the A5 Plus, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. The reason why I didn't get the A5 Plus uh, anyway is because I really wanted the Croc. I asked for the Traveler's Notebook size gray pebbled for my birthday next month. And I didn't want to gray pebbled. I didn't, I didn't want the black one because I typically purchase black because I feel like black looks very sleek, looks very professional, but I thought the gray could be professional too, but still give something that just wasn't black because like everything I pretty much have is I try to go for the black because it does look more sleek and professional and neutral and I didn't want two gray pebbled things. So which is why I wanted the croc and it does not come in A5 plus. So at least on Amazon and I think they are sold out on the Moterm website. You can try AliExpress I think. I think they have some covers and I think think if I'm not mistaken they're going on sale soon I've never ordered from AliExpress but um I do know it sometimes takes longer to get items from AliExpress like like just from me watching videos um and I I, I didn't want to wait <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and get it I according to their website they do have other colors um in the crock and everything but um I just went with what they had on Amazon and I think they also had the color that I wanted on AliExpress but like I said I didn't want to wait three to four weeks I really wanted it now um I'm impatient you guys so you know anyways so does have a snap closure which I'm still kind of iffy about because of this keeps getting in my way somebody said that you could bend it back slightly and it would stay down no it does not do that so I open it up and the stitching is actually really good too. And it pretty much stays flat. There is a little, kind of a little bubble in the back. But it's just because how, because that back pocket is here. And um, just how it lays. But it's, it is pretty much flat. I did watch one video where she had to send her, like hers back and get a new one. Because it was like all like up here and whatnot. It just wasn't flat at all. But you do have a pocket right here. You do have some card slots here. You have five card slots so you have four here, and then you have one down here at the bottom, and this one goes all the way to the bottom. Like, this is a standard size post-it notepad, and it literally, like, you can't even see it anymore. So I don't know if that was a mistake on these, or they were just like, yeah, let's just put a big pocket there. I don't know. But it's there. <laughs> and then you go to the back, and you do have a pocket here, here, and then here. And it is like a chocolatey brown color I don't know if you can tell I know my lighting is not the best but um yeah so it is that and then you have a pocket here in the back like I mentioned and actually it holds the Erin Condren sticky notes perfectly like it I mean it just sits perfectly on one side there so I'm actually looking forward to getting some more of these now which I'd already planned to get some more but I'm really looking forward to it now so um put this back in there <clears throat> and it also does come with two uh bookmarks. Let me see if I can get them out here. It does come with two bookmarks. It keeps getting caught on the sticky note now. Um, I just don't prefer these. They're there if I do want them, but they're just not my favorite. Um, but they do have these little tips on the end so they don't fray or anything. But I just kind of tuck them in the back here because I prefer to use the little tabs. 
as you can see here there is a chunk here where I don't have a post-it note because the pin loop over here it's like right I mean it's hugging the book like it's right up against the book so you can't actually put one there so I'm probably gonna move all of these down to where this one is here and these two are below or I might put them across the top I haven't fully decided how I want to do that yet so we'll just have to wait and see on that but yeah so there's the Moterm cover I really really love it and then here is a Midori MD paper uh, graph notebook. This is my first Midori book also, and I actually really like it. Um, I will say real quick, I was planning to get Astology. Um, I didn't because, you know what? I don't know why I didn't. I think this was a little cheaper. Um, and I'm actually kind of glad I did because the paper in here is not quite as thin as the Stology, and if you mess up with washi tape, which <laughs> I did a lot, um, you can actually peel it up and put it back down and it's not going to tear the page. And with the amount of printables I have in here, I think I may need to stick with a Midori because I have so many printables in here, or so many inserts that I already had that I included, that I feel like I'm probably gonna have to have something more along the lines of this that has some stronger paper than the Stology. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Stology paper is really, really thin. And once you put washi or a sticker down, it's not coming back up. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be sticking with this. But I do like this. It is a light blue grid here. I don't have any problems with writing and reading on this. Like, um, I know in, in my weekly plans book, um, th this grid is too dark for me to write on and see. I did do some testing in the back about trying, like, uh, some, um... Like highlighters and whatnot so I might try highlighters in the future I think I did and it just I think I tore it out um it just wasn't it was not going the way I wanted it to go so um but yes yeah, so I do really like this grid um th the paper feels nice I feel like there might be I don't know if it's just because my hands are kind of dry right now um it feels pretty smooth there might be a little tooth but not much but it feels nice to write on as well so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here. So this is my current week. So I do have my current week. And <clears throat> this, excuse me, this is um, the monthly reflections for August. And <clears throat> I had to tip this in so I could still get to both pages. I, I know this is kind of the front page, but whenever I open it, I open it to this anyway. So... I do have some things to mark off, like I have been working at my planners for the past three days. Um, and I've done some other things too, but I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. And I'm actually doing the YouTube video now, like I'm I'm filming now, so I can do that. Um, multiple Instagram ideas that I have. I have a list of Instagram things that I want to do. So, um, yeah, so I'm super excited. I'm really loving this. This is a Scattered Squirrel printable, and this is the Moxie Life. Um, I don't know if I... If I've already said that, but this is the Moxie Life companion book um, page that I just tore out, tipped in. I did trim the top because it was slightly taller th than this book. And by slightly, I mean ever so slightly. But um, I did trim it a little bit. I wanted it to, I, I still wanted you to be able to get to see the page around. So I, uh, that's why I trimmed it a little more than I, I could have. Um, I do like having my weekly over here in my moxie life here because I am able to actually sit and look at both at the same time like I'm not having to flip to a different book which I think was my problem with the moxie life I mean I love moxie life stuff I love the companion books um but my problem with it being in a separate book like that not an all-in-one planner like that um like they also sell was that I couldn't see it all the time because it was in a whole another book and now with it being in here, it just works so well for me. So I'm super glad that I decided to kind of do this. And um, yeah, so this, and again, this is a Scattered Squirrel printable. Uh, really, really love her stuff. And um, uh, let's see. Okay, so the next pages were kind of private. I will show you what they look like coming up. Um, I just, there are some things written down that's personal to me and I didn't want y'all to see, no offense, but yeah. So, this is also another Scattered Squirrel printable. Again, she has amazing things. They're all free. Um, 
you can also put in requests. I haven't done that yet. Um, I don't really have anything that I need to request because she has so many options. She has uh, weekly printables, monthly, daily, uh, financial printables, all kinds of different things, you guys. Um, but yes, this is the monthly. I call this a dashboard. I forget what this is actually called on her website. This idea here. I got from a happy planner at the happy planner wellness book um, like if you look I have an example here you have three goals for the month and I just kind of relabeled it to, to focus on and then how I'm strengthening my mind body and soul and I actually sometimes might use these pages instead of using like this side but just just like just to change it up a little bit um, I just you know just to have something a little different plus this actually has some tips and stuff each month it looks like to where you can do different things so um, I might do that every now and then and who knows maybe I'll put this in or something I don't know we'll have to wait and see but I do really like um, that idea there so and then down here is for some type of inspiration or quote or if I wanted to print a picture put a picture here I could and I'm thinking about here even though I'm still using my um, planner here to track um, my self-care habits one happy thing and my gratitude and my mood I'm still I'm still using this but I'm kind of also going to be using this too um, and I'll get into that in a second, but sorry, I just got completely jumbled. <laughs> um, what I was trying to get at with this that I totally got just like my mind just went whoop. Um, I'm going to be tracking some of the books that I read here as well as in here. That's what I was getting at. I, I mean, I do have this, the same thing here that I just mentioned, but that's coming up. I'm not there yet. I don't know why my brain was like, oh, nope, let's do this now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so different books that I read here, you know, and all these will be what they are labeled as. So, and then this is the Moxie Life, like from the companion book, um, monthly. They are undated, so I just went ahead and dated it. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to use this. So I have a couple things on the 9th and the 27th, and my birthday is this month as well. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to use it do I want to do stickers do I want to do highlighter do I want to do like a key over here and just put like a blue highlighter dot here and have and and like look over here and know that it means this I don't know how I want to do this yet so I'm still trying to figure that out um this page is also a tip in because on the back side is one half of my monthly goals this is a page that once I get filled out it will be on Instagram um I just Currently, at the moment, um, I haven't gotten that far as to what I want my goals for September to be. So, we just have to wait and see. So, and then this is from the Happy Planner Budget Expansion Pack that came out, I want to say like a year ago, two years ago. It is a mini. Um, I haven't seen this recently. Um, I kind of hope they do decide to bring this back because I really like this. <laughs> and um, I feel like if this book works for me and the size works for me, I could definitely keep using these to put my budget in. I could do the Happy, or the Happy Planner, the Erin Condren uh, budget book. Like I could tear pages out of this if I wanted to. I don't want to. Um, so I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking I will just keep trying to use these as long as I can find these pages. I do have some left, so I should, I think I should be covered for the rest of the year if I'm not mistaken. If not, um, I'll come up with a different idea. But this actually is just like, it's just taped down so it's not like, it's not flying everywhere. And I can also use the back as well. And then I have space if I want to either make my own here or I could tape in another one of these sheets if I so wish. So yeah, so there's that. And then next up, I have my next week, which you've already kind of seen the layout of this. I have my Moxie Life Weekly Actions here, my weekly here, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, having both side by side just works 
so well for me. I love the companion book, but with it being set, uh, I can't talk today, but again, with it being separate, I just couldn't check it the way I needed to check it. And I love it. So, and then next up, what I couldn't show you earlier, cause I had some private things on there. This side is what I was talking about in my, um, coil planner. I'm going to be putting my one happy thing here each, um, each week and like one happy thing I'm um, all right across the top here and then on this side will be my gratitude so I'll just write gratitude here and I'll keep track of my gratitude each day here this right here is an Erin Condren wellness page like out of their wellness log from the petite planner I just tore it out and trimmed the side and just tipped it in as well and I love it I love that I can track everything in one I could put my exercise here, water intake steps. Um, I'm probably going to change hour slept to mood. Um, that way I'm still tracking that. Plus hour slept, I don't wear my Fitbit at night. It, um, I don't like it on my wrist at night. So, um, hour slept, it, it, it's, it's just a guesstimate really on what it is. So, and then over here, I can still track my food every day and still be good to go. This book, um, because after this, I don't have anything past this yet. But this book will be coming with me to work. Um, I don't plan on... I'm, so, so, as I mentioned earlier, I'm still going to be using my regular Traveler's Notebook. I'm still going to be using this. So, both of these are going to be in my lineup. Um, everything is just kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of still using everything, but I'm kind of combining it all into one, I guess you could say. Or a two. Um... Once I get the new cover, I'm going to have that wallet. So my wallet will be here and this will go on the go with me wherever I go. Work included. And this will come with me to work because I can probably work on it a little bit at work sometimes depending on my job. So I'm definitely looking forward to, to carrying this with me. Um, or I could work on it at lunch depending on whatever job I have and if we're busy or not. Um, so yeah. Um, I do want to show you guys my weekly because I've changed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm currently using a, I'm currently using this book, which I was using for social media at the beginning, and I've kind of changed that. Um, so this is this book for, for this week, and the sticker won't stay down. So. So far, so good. I really like it. I just haven't really used it much yet. Um, and then I've already dated for September. So I'm really looking forward to using this. So this does have the monthly in it, whereas I was using a separate book for that. Um, let me... So before, I was using like just this blank book. I added in some more printables from Scattered Squirrel. And I had my own here. And like, like here's August. And then I have September in here also. If I'm thinking about going back to using this, that's kind of like a random thoughts and notes book because my, my current one is running out. And um, if I don't do that, I do have a dot grid book somewhere for the life of me now. I don't know where I put it. It's in front of me. <laughs> um, oops, sorry, I jostled the camera. But I do have this book also. It's, a, it's just a dot grid book, which I'm probably going to be using as well as a random thoughts and notes book. Like I tried to do a habit tracker in here. I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm going to be keeping one in here. And I'll put one in here. So actually what I might do is put this one in here because it'll fit in this pocket in the back here. And it's still very, it's still thin enough to where it's not going to really affect anything, I don't think, as you can see. So I'm probably going to do that and then I'll put this one back in. Um, I haven't quite figured it out yet, you guys. So I'm still, I'm still playing around with that, but that's kind of what's going on there. But yeah, so I'm still going to be using both of these no matter what. I really do like them. I really love this. I love this more than I thought I would. Um, this is an, an idea I got from watching a YouTuber. <laughs> um, so hopefully now I'm done buying planner things. I hope I'm done buying planner things for the rest of the year. At least until November when um, the Moxie Life stuff is released. And Black Friday when Erin Condren stuff goes on sale. Because I do want to get some more petite planners. Because... Obviously, I can tear out pages and put them in here. I'm currently using a petite journal as a, um, well, as a journal, basically. I do have an A5, another A5, um, Erin Condren petite line journal that I'm using as a random thoughts and notes book, just in a bigger size in case I needed more paper to write. So, I mean, I'm also using 
like these two for example like, but this one's my journal this one's the random thoughts and notes along with this so all this kind of comes with me throughout the day this one because it is my actual journal will not come with me once I get a different job um because I would have to leave like my bag line around and I'm not saying anybody would go through it I just I don't want it to like fall out somebody pick it up and start reading it but because it is private um but yeah so this is what I'm currently using I love it I am loving everything about both of these both of these systems at the moment I am still using my folio from the, the, the happy planner if I could talk today um like, I still have my Moxie Life book in here because I do have the rest of August in here. Um, September is not completely pulled out because I still have these pages in here. I didn't want to um, use them just yet because I didn't want to put them in yet because I don't know how far or if anything's going to change. If anything changes weekly, I don't want to preset that up because I don't want to have it stuck there. I mean, not be able to move things around. Um... And I'm also still using this. This is my um, horizontal book that I'm currently using as a daily reflections book. I do plan to get another one of these as well. So yeah, I'm I'm still using multiple other things, but they're not quite. I feel like it's not quite as many because I'm more so combining things, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So let me know what you guys think about this. Again, I love this Mo Term cover. I love the Midori book. As I said before, I'll probably stick to the Midori book because of the paper quality. Um, I, I could reposition washi tape and possibly a sticker. I have not tried stickers in here yet, but possibly stickers also if I wish to repos reposition it. So um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any tips or anything below, let me know. And I will look forward to reading those. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the little little notification bell so you don't miss a video and and like I said I, I, I love seeing your comments I love seeing video requests if you have any questions about anything let me know I love I, I, I love getting to read those and seeing those and I will do my best to get whatever video you request up and all right guys I will see you next time and thank you for joining me bye